previously on Four of Spades. So now we're all caught up. If you haven't caught part one, check it out here. So, after that epic lay down, if I do say so myself, of Ace King against three all in, we're still in. We're still fighting for our tournament life. We've got a lot of work to do, so let's get back into it. And the first hand off the rank today is Ace 10 Osu on the button. And the blinds have increased to 10,000, 20,000, so it's getting spicy. Under the gun limps, and then plus one raises to 100,000. I'm sitting there on 46k. I can't call this off for my tournament life here. I'll find better spots. We'll move on. <laughs> Second hand, and I'm under the gun. We have King Jack offsuit. Now we're short stacked and in massive need of chips, as I only have just over two big blinds. So I go all in. And it folds around to the big blind, who has very little choice but to call for the extra 26k. And to be fair, they have the stack to call, which at this stage I want. I need the double up. And at this point, I don't even need to flop anything. I just need to avoid a six and a five. But that starts to become irrelevant when the flop comes ace, three, king. I hit top pair. This does bring in a backdoor straight opportunity, but I'm pretty safe right now. And when the turn brings in two pair, the jack of hearts, I'm golden. Rivers the three of clubs, but that don't matter. I get my double up. Now I've got five bigs. The next hand we look at, I'm in the small blind. We've got ace of diamonds, nine of clubs. We're still really, really short stacked, and the blinds are up again. Folds around to me, and against an equally short stacked big blind, he's only got 90k in total. I put the pressure on him and shove all in. After a little bit of thinking, we get a, yeah, all right, not quite a fuck it call. So he missed his opportunity there. Shame. Anyway, we're up against five, seven of clubs. Not terrible, as both of his cards are live and have more straight and flush potential than me and just like the previous hand we're ahead pre-flop and when the flop comes nine free king rainbow we improve to our pair that's over his pair draws so he's drawing very slim but when the turn brings in the eight of spades he does have a gut shot straight draw so i need to fade them four sixes they give him the straight and luckily i do with a beautiful queen of arts Thank you for your service, mom. Not quite the double up I was after, but close enough as I now have just over six bigs. And we get another swing at it two hands later when we get pocket jacks on the button. Let's get some value. The big blind's already all in for less than the big blind, and the small blind is short stacked too. When it folds around to me, I just need to raise to hopefully induce the small blind to shove and get more in the pot. That don't work out this time, they fold. So we're heads up with the big blind for a small but important pot. They have a six off suit, so we still need to fade that ace. Flop is 10, 10, 6. Six, two diamonds. We both have two pair. Still need to fade the ace and now the six. Ten of spades on the turn cuts that back down to just the ace and the brick three of hearts on the river seals it. Another player gone and our stack is slowly building back up. Over seven and a half bigs now, baby. Jesus, this is a grind. We've had to fold both our small and big blinds after having people jam on us and we've had shit hands. Now we're in the cutoff with King 10 suited. So we try and steal our blinds back. We shove all in. The button folds, the small blind folds and the big blind folds. We get our blinds back. Easy gang. Oh, and by the way, if you are enjoying these videos, why not subscribe? And if you've got a minute, chuck us a little comment down below. Next hand, and we're back in the small blind, and we have something worth defending this time. Queen 10 offsuit. So when it folds around to me, and the big blind has slightly shorter stack than me, I decide to put pressure on him and go all in. I'm all in. So they have to call for their tournament life. Oh. But I get snap called by Ace Jack. To be fair, he did wake up with a monster, and now I'm not talking about his wife. Whoa, that's rude. I mean, his hand is really strong. No, 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 that's not a wanking metaphor either. Okay, the cards that he has are good there so so currently i'm pretty far behind we see a flop and it's eight of spades three of diamonds jack of diamonds so not great at all i can still hit a queen but preferably not the queen of diamonds turns the ace of spades so now i'm way way behind though at least the diamonds are dead to him and I have more outs for the king so as any good player does i call for it king and when the king of hearts rolls off on the river i'm pretty fucking happy look at that happy table knock Next hand, and we're still really low on chips. We run the final table bubble, and we have 8-7 offsuit in the small blind. So when it folds around to me, and I hear from the other table that they've just lost a player, I take this opportunity to put pressure on the big blind. I'm all in. Who likely doesn't want to tangle with me just after making final table. So I'm expecting them to be a lot tighter now than just before that announcement. And he folds. Maybe he just had a shit hand, and it was an easy fold, but who knows. I like to think it was the pressure. So that's it, here we are. We've made final table. At this point, I'm the only one on my team left as they all got out long ago. Wankers! So there's no hope in hell of us winning the cup. Fucking embarrassing. Waste of our time. Fucking waste of our time. But there's still individual prizes and pride to play for. The top four teams get paid, but also the top three individuals. 
So the first major hand of the final table with the blinds up to 30K, 60K. And after grinding my stack up to just a touch over half a mil, still less than 10 big, we have ace seven diamonds in the small blind with a big blind on a short stack. So again, when it folds around to me, put the pressure on and put them to the decision for their tawny life. I'm all in. And they fold. So it gets through. Happy days. We're in the cut off this hand with Jack King of Hearts. Folds around to me, and I change it up a bit with a raise to 170k. That's just under a 3x raise. This raise gets through the button and both the blinds. I'm currently sitting in a very good position, as the bigger stacks don't seem to be wanting to get involved and wanting the short stacks to make moves and get caught up together. And I can exploit this by being the one who can put them to the test and scoop the rewards. It helps that I'm getting good cards too. The next hand I'm improving to King Queen of Hearts in a big blind. Blinds are up again to 40k, 80k, so it's getting pretty spicy. And I'm so close to having 10 bigs. I'm still about the third shortest stack at the table. It folds around, very passive, and the small blind calls. I choose to jam here as they are the shortest stack and I'm happy to flip with King Queen suited. Doesn't come to that as they fold. But now we finally have over 10 bigs. Thank Christ. I'm in the cut off this hand with Jack King off. Oh, that sounds weird. Falls around to me and I shove. I'm all in. All in amounts. Just about a mil in chips. As previous, I'm able to put the pressure on with these short stacks. And even if I get a call up, we're not in bad shape at all. But all three fold and we keep building our stack. We wake up in the eye jack with Queen 10 offsuit. Sam Clark would be proud. I raised to 250k, again putting the pressure on, but changing it up so I'm not always just shoving in these spots. After complimenting the dealer on how good he's been to me. I disagree, <laughs> you're amazing, I love you. Love your work. I get a hesitant call from the big blind who goes all in for only an extra 45k. So of course I'm calling, and as expected, I'm not in terrible shape, as he's got pocket eights. Runner is ace three five rainbow so not too good right now but still have overs to the eights turns the six of hearts and the rivers the two of hearts so we miss both <laughs> and regrettably double the short stack whilst also losing nearly 20 percent of our own fuck you tommy second person ever to say no. Never again. We're in the small blind and we have ace queen off. And of course, the blinds are up again. Now we're 50k, 100k. So we're sitting on just about 12 and a half bigs. Folds around to me as usual. And I raise 200k on top of my small blind, which is basically all in for the big blind. Kind of wanted a call, but he folds. And we pick up a big blind. So it's 13 and a half now. And then there were four. We're under the gun this hand with jack 10 off. As the chip leader now, I'm really trying to push them shorter stacks around. I'm all in. Already at it. And make them make a mistake. All in. But they fold. So for now they're holding fast, like they'll break. A few orbits go by and we have Jack 10 off again, this time in the big line. And now we're three handed and the button has chipped up a bit since knocking out fourth place. Their stack is pretty close to mine. And when they shove, I do have to think about it and how readily they are to get rid of those chips that they've just got. After a little thinking on my part, I make the fold and he shows an ace. So I was behind pre flop <laughs> and it's not worth flipping for my tournament life at this late stage in the game. And just to prove that I'm not only picking up premiums at this final table, and that I'm sun running. Here's a little montage of all the piss that I was getting. I'm in the small blind this time and we have King Queen offsuit. And when the button, who's the short stack, is only around 420k behind, they quickly announce all in. I equally as quickly go all in over the top. The big blind is in a tough spot and they have a bit of a thinker as our stacks are quite even still and he only just covers me. He reluctantly folds and we're up against King Eight of the Hearts. So we're currently ahead with our queen kicker. And when the flop comes six, queen, nine, two spades, we hit top pair and with no backdoor flush, he's drawing pretty thin. Here's where the big blind says that they had ace 10. So at this point, I was and they call too. Turns the two of diamonds, so he's drawing dead, and the river, the two of clubs, even deader. Now, heads up plays a little bit different, so it's very shove heavy. So, here we have a little montage of shove folds, shove folds, shove folds, and shove folds. But then finally, we get to a hand. We're in the big blind, and we have jacks. Blinds are now, of course, up 100, 200, and we finally have a premium. The villain, however, does all the work for us and shoves. Oh, that's of course, I snap call. Cool. cool. And we're up against ace out of diamonds, so we're just looking to fade that ace. The flop comes. Queen, three, five, no diamonds, but we still need to fade the ace. Turns to two of spades, so now he's got three aces and four fours as outs. But the river is safe and pairs his eight, and we've got him covered. So we take the win. <laughs> yes, yes. And so that's it. That's our first major tournament win of the channel. We came away with $500. Not our biggest cash takeaway, but a win's a win, and I'll take it. Onwards and upwards now. In case you're interested, I have started making some shorts of some pretty crazy hands that I've come across in my travels. I'll link them here. What have we got in store next? Oh, and uh, I 
got that haircut. How's that for continuity, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs>